And welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will discuss one of the most important chapters of English grammar in class 10 that is the noun clause. As in this video, we have a noun clause. We will see the, some of the most important features of noun clause like what is a noun clause, then noun phrase versus noun clause, then examples of noun clause, we will see the various positions of noun clause and again function of noun clause. Let us see what are the functions of the noun clause. Okay. We will discuss first what is a noun clause. A noun clause is a subordinate clause first of all. We know in a complex sentence there are two clauses. One is called the main clause and the other is called the subordinate clause. Again the subordinate clause is divided into three. The noun clause, the relative clause and the adverb clause. We will discuss one by one, by one in uh, separate videos. So, a noun clause is a subordinate clause first and it does the same work of a noun phrase in a sentence. Noun clause is a good subordinate clause. Class 9 रा पढ़ी थी वो जे noun phrase भी सारे अतः noun phrase रा जहाँ function होती है जहाँ काम होती है sentence रे उन्हें noun clause रा मध्य सही एका function था है that means the clause that does the same function of a noun phrase is called a noun clause so what is a noun clause that's the right definition of noun clause so the clause that does the same function of a noun phrase is called a noun clause then a noun clause is a part of a complex sentence you know because noun clause is a part of a complex sentence that means only in a complex sentence that you can see a noun clause. Ame buzila the noun clause or definition kano noun clause would a subordinate clause at a complex sentence re thai even noun clause or a function abikal jaha hi thai noun phrase or a function sentence re se would a kahochi noun clause or a function. Then we will try to see the difference between a noun phrase and a noun clause. What is the difference between a noun phrase and a noun clause? Phrase, phrase basically it is a part of a sentence which does not have any verb, but a noun clause is a clause in which there must be a verb. So look at the underlying parts in the sentences below. I do not know his address. In this sentence, I do not know his address. His address is a noun phrase. It is a noun phrase. But I do not know where he lives. Where he lives is a clause and such a clause is called a noun clause because it does the same work of a noun phrase. I do not know his address. I do not know what. The answer is his address. But his address is a noun phrase. I do not know where he lives, I do not know what, it answers the same questions. So I do not know what, that means where he lives, that means the noun phrase his address could be replaced with a noun clause where he lives. In the second example, her simplicity attracts everybody, her simplicity is a noun phrase, it about a noun phrase. तेरे को ए नाउन फ्रेज बदल रहे हमें ए टी यूज करना दैट सी इज सिंपल अट्रैक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी प्रथम एग्जांपल रे हर सिंपलिसिटी अट्रैक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी ए टी हमें क्वेश्चन करवा व्हाट अट्रैक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी द आंसर इज हर सिंपलिसिटी एंड हर सिंपलिसिटी इज ए फ्रेज इट्स नॉट ए क्लॉज दिस इज अ नाउन फ्रेज नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल रे दैट सी सिंपल दैट सी सिंपल अट्रैक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी व्हाट अट्रैक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी the answer is that is simple and it is a clause and it is not a phrase. So that is simple is a noun clause. Karan eta noun phrase bodol rame eti use kana. 
Next, she never believes my words. My words is a noun phrase. She never believes what? The answer is my words. And my words is a phrase. It's a noun phrase. She never believes what I say. She never believes what? The answer is what I say. So what I say is a clause. And this is a noun clause. Karana ita say my words badal re amaiti gude phrase badal re iti gude clause amai use kala. Then we have a clause called noun clause. The cause of her anger is not known. The cause of her anger is a noun phrase. What is not known? The answer is the cause of her anger. Why she is angry is not known. The difference between the first underlined part and the second underlined part is that the first one is the cause of her anger is a phrase, whereas the second one, why she is angry is a clause. So that's the difference between a noun phrase and a noun clause. So noun phrase versus noun clause. What a clause, jee ki what a noun phrase ra kama kori thaye, ta ku ame noun clause wali kohi thao. Then we will see the forms of noun clause. A noun clause comes in two forms. Arthat what a noun clause ra dui ti rupa thaye. Mane kem ti dekha jaye. How does the noun clause look? Noun clause do it to repair as they would have said that clause, I would have said WS clause. Or thought, would a noun clause of Prarambore that thai Kimba WH word thai. That means a noun clause begins with a that or a WH word. Conosy noun clause am a cinema, Satire, Aramore, that thibo, Kimba got a WH word thibo. Uzela. Next we will see. What are the positions of noun clause? When I go to a sentence row, go go jagare noun clause thai. The noun clause comes in three positions in a sentence. Bibina clause row position ba sentence re tar sthano alga alga thai. Noun clause comes in three positions in a sentence. They are the front position, the mid position and the end position. So, Front position means it a sentence ro aram bhare thi ba. That means front position. I have written the structure here. Front position. That means noun clause plus main clause. Example, what you told me is right. So what you told me, this is the noun clause. That comes at the beginning of the sentence. That means noun clause plus main clause. What is the main clause here? Each right. That means it is omitted here. It is right. Then, in the second example, that she is innocent is quite obvious. The first one is the noun clause, that she is innocent. This is the noun clause and this comes at the front of the sentence. So, this is the front position, that she is innocent is quite obvious. So, here the noun clause is that she is innocent and the main clause is it is quite obvious. So, this is front position. Then, the mid position, mid position means that comes in the middle of the sentence, in between uh, the two parts of the main clause. Main clause ro bhangi kori madhire eta thai. For example, the rule that everybody has to attend the meeting has no meaning. Here, the rule that everybody has to attend the meeting has no meaning. So, where is the noun clause? This is the noun clause. Eti full underline kori de hai That everybody has to attend the meeting that everybody has to attend the meeting this part is the noun clause and what is the main clause the main clause is the rule has no meaning the main clause the rule has no meaning ko bhangi tar madhire pasichi noun clause ta that everybody has to attend the meeting eboli ame noun clause dekhi pariba se ko kha jau thai mid position arthat noun clause sentence ro madhire madhyo asthai ta le kemti hala eta one part of the main clause plus noun clause plus another part of the main clause. Then we will see the end position of the noun clause. The end position, in, a, in an end position what happens? The main clause comes first followed by the noun clause. That means main clause plus noun clause. So what is the main clause here? My friend said, this is the main clause. My friend said that he would be busy the following week. 
my friend said that he would be busy the following week here my friend said is the main clause and that he would be busy the following week is the noun clause so here main clause plus noun clause so noun clause comes at the end of the sentence do you know where he lives in this sentence where he lives is the noun clause and do you know this is the main clause so main clause plus noun clause so from these examples we must have known that the noun clause has three functions three positions sorry three positions the front position the mid position and the end position right then we will see the functions of noun clause what a sentence re noun clause kon kon kaam kare thai the noun clause does the same function in a sentence what the noun phrase does the noun clause in a sentence works as kon bolya kaam kare thai it works as the subject of the sentence number 1 object of the verb then object of preposition then complements and opposition to a noun phrase eta gula ko sab तुम्हें जब ठीक जानी थो ते गोटे नाउन फ्रेज ए समस्त फंक्शन नाउन फ्रेज रहा गोटे सेन्टेन्स रब्जेक्ट होता है भर रब्जेक्ट होता है तापर अब्जेक्ट अफ प्रपोजिशन होता है तापर कम्प्लीमेंट होता है तापर अपोजिशन होता है सो द नाउन क्लज डज द एक्जाक्टली द सेम फंक्शन अफ अ नाउन फ्रेज इन ए सेन्टेन्स विल गो इन टू अल द फंक्शन वन बै वन फास्ट noun clause as subject in a sentence how does the noun clause work as a subject in a sentence subject jete bele thibo noun clause ti prathame asi thibo jemti for example where the man lives is a mystery where the man lives is a mystery this is the noun clause where the man lives then second example that the earth is round has been proved mark the noun clause that the earth is round this is the subject in the sentence that's why the noun clause does the subject function here that the earth is round has been proved when he will get back is uncertain so here the noun clause is when he will get back so i have given you the three examples of noun clause working as subject in a sentence then we'll see how noun clause works as object of a verb object of a verb i believe that the boy is poor here the noun clause that the boy is poor is the object of the verb believe in the second example i don't know why you are late why you are late is the noun clause and this works as the object of the verb no in the third example she told me that she was fine that she was fine and this is the noun clause and this is the object of the verb told all right next we will see how the noun clause works as object of a preposition noun clause works as the object of prepositions do you know about what happened yesterday look at the noun clause here what happened yesterday so this noun clause works as the object of the preposition about in the second example your success depends on how you study the noun clause is how you study and this works as the object of the preposition on in the last example he is not sure of what will be his future what will be his future this is the noun clause and what function does is do it works as the objects of the preposition of and one more thing is to be noted here that clause does not come after a preposition kon si preposition pare that clause as a like a wh clause asi thai eta ko ama mane rakhiba uchit all right next we'll see how noun clause works as complements in a sentence ama mana rakhiba katha je complements gude ka noun phrase re madhya complement gude ka sahi ta hai thai sahi noun phrase gude ka jo ta kon se link bhar pore asi thai jenti b verb tar pramukha verb gude link verb b hela 
सेम साउंड अपियर ऑल दीज भार्ब्स दीज आर द लिंक भार्ब्स सो द नाउन फ्रेजेस दैट कम आफ्टर द लिंक भार्ब्स आर यूज एज कंप्लीमेंट्स इन ए सेंटेंस सिमिलरली द नाउन क्लॉजेस ऑल्सो दैट कम आफ्टर द लिंक भार्ब्स आर यूज एज द कंप्लीमेंट्स इन ए सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल my opinion is that children should be free the noun clause is that children should be free look at this sentence this noun clause comes after the link verb each therefore it works as the complement in a sentence in this sentence in the second example it seems that the war will never end the noun clause is that the war will never end so this noun clause comes after the link verb seems therefore it works as the complement here in this sentence this noun clause works as the complement in the sentence next in the third example the problem is who will bail the cats the noun clause who will bail the cats and this noun clause also comes after the verb each which is a link verb that's why it works as the complement of the verb each so this is the complement function of the noun clause mo ethi sabuthe example dei je ubhay that clause ebong wh clause ro kebol gote jagar mo kahili jo jagare preposition pore that clause ase nahi finally how noun clause works as an opposition to another noun clause an opposition opposition means gotiye noun clause ro extension mane gotiye noun phrase ro extension opposition means gotiye noun phrase ko a gotiye noun phrase kemti bujhai thai in the opposition function we will see there is a belief that fate rules our life so that fate rules our life it is used as an opposition it is used as an opposition to the noun phrase a belief kote noun phrase ro eta hoche gote extension ba agu ku hei thai i was shocked to hear the news that my friend was no more the noun clause is that my friend was no more so this works as an opposition to the noun phrase the news i was shocked to hear the news what news the answer is that my friend was no more okay so this works as an opposition to the noun phrase the news the report that three people were killed is false the report what is that report that three people were killed that means this noun clause is an extension to the noun phrase the report that means it tells us more about the report so the report that three people were killed is false so this is the noun clause that three people were killed and it is an opposition to the noun phrase the report eta gote that clause bisare koha jisi ame dekhi bhabe gote wh clause bisare the problem who will lead the team is still unsolved the problem what is the problem who will lead the team that's the problem so that works as the opposition to the noun phrase the problem finally it is certain that covid 19 will go one day that covid 19 will go one day it is certain that covid 19 will go one day this is the noun clause that covid 19 will go one day so it is an opposition to the subject it it is an opposition to the subject it it hoji er subject then very eta hoji opposition to it so eta hoji opposition function opposition function ro both that clause ebong wh clause asi thai a gote point ethi mark kariba katha je jete bela that clause thai we use no comma there is no necessity of using comma but when there is wh clause we must use comma it am dekhi jo the problem who will lead the team it is the comma me bhar karchi just before the noun clause 
just at the beginning of the noun clause and at the end of the noun clause. Eta WH clause re use kora jai thai. That clause re use hue nahi. Even out kona si function re eta bevar hai net bevar hai not thai. Koma bevar hai not thai. Kebolo noun clause re apposition function jota ki WH word thiwa WH clause hai thiwa say thi koma bevar kari ba. So guys, these are the various functions of noun clause that we discussed today. We, we saw the various functions like how the noun clause becomes the subject of a sentence, the object of verb, the object of preposition, then complement, then noun clause, how it works as a position to another noun phrase or a pronoun. So, that's the end of this video lesson. Mo asakare, samaste boji aitibo. Tapre, we'll see, we'll meet in another video lesson in my upcoming video lesson. So, wait for the next video lesson. Until then, bye.